What's up guys, it is WeMessy11 and today I have another player review for you. I have the team of the season uh, in form, Arthur Moraes, who plays for Benfica in the Liga Portuguesa. Uh, as you see, I got him for 131,000, but this player was kindly lended to me to the absolute legend who lends me all my most expensive players it is SAS645. Make sure to check out his channel down below. So this keeper is had a pretty good season for Benfica. <clears throat> Six foot four, eighty seven diving, eighty seven handling, eighty eight positioning, eighty six reflexes, six foot four, probably one of the best goalkeepers I've used on the game for an inform card. And this is the cheap side I played him in. I apart from the three informs obviously, it is pretty cheap. It's a Brazilian side, it's he also lent me Team of the Season Rivera, which I also will have a review up in the next couple of days. In the left back was Carlinos today. Rochia in the right back, Felipe, Elias and Jadson in the middle. Up front we had Emerson, we had George Enrique and we also had the man of the match, Joe, which I will also have a review out on the next couple of days. So now on to the in-game stats. What's up guys, I am back and we are on to the in-game stats and you just look at them there. All green apart from the yellow one there and pff, this guy... He stands up for his stats. He's just unbelievable. The best goalkeeper I've used on FIFA 13. Goalkeepers are pretty hard to come by in FIFA 13. Not like decent ones. Because most of them make really easy mistakes. But this guy is just unbelievable. He best keeper I've used. Like It's not that I haven't used any decent keepers. I've used Inform Casillas. Inform Neuer. Inform Marchetti. You know, the list goes on of the top quality keepers I've used, and he is the best one, without a doubt. Look, as you see here, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, Hernandez. You would expect Hernandez to score, but he does well to stay strong and keep it out. The goals that I do concede with Arthur Moraes are mostly my fault. Like, they're either... Like, me passing it out short from a goal kick, or me throwing it to their player when I should have hoofed it forward. You know, or me just just fucking it up, really. Just, just trying to dribble out of the defence with a defender. And then he has no chance. But, you know, I, I can't fault this guy. The only really problem you would say with him is he gets beat from headers an awful lot, see. And he also makes vital saves, as you see on the clip before there. That was in the 87th minute, and it was four each. And he did manage to keep me in the game, and drag the game into extra time which I did go on to win on penalties. I see there is his pros and cons. He has an he is amazing at shot stopping. Unbelievable for his price. And the only thing that I would say is pretty bad about him is his he gets beat easily by headers. And he I give him a nine point five out of ten. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Make sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel. Peace.